us as a terrorist organisation. And, and you talked about us working more closely together on counter-terrorism. Can we work more closely on counter-terrorism if, if we're not on the same page about who the terrorists are? <laughs> Well, look, we may have differences around uh, Hamas, and but what we are very united on is that we need to see an immediate ceasefire in that region. Uh, I actually had the Prime Minister of Qatar, as you'll be aware, come and visit with me in Wellington a couple of weeks ago. Uh, he's right in the middle with Egypt and the US actually trying to get both parties to the table, and that's exactly what's needed here. We And uh, you know, the Prime Minister's seen our statements uh, that we've put out with both Canada and Australia as, as tripartite statements. We've done three now, uh, calling for that immediate ceasefire. But look, we may have differences on those things, but the reality is when you think about transnational organised crime, those are issues affecting both of our countries. There's huge opportunities for to deal with that. We both are all very conscious of the rise of violent extremism and, and also wanting to maintain social cohesion in what are increasingly multicultural societies. Uh, and those are things that we will continue to work hard at. To, you know, there's 195 countries in the world who don't agree on everything with each other either. That's quite normal. But I can tell you we have no closer friend in Asia than, uh, than Malaysia. It's a long-standing relationship that goes back many, many decades. And what we're determined to do is to continue to find the common ground to work and progress the things that, that we can do together, uh, of which there is many, many things. So, um, but we both are very united in, in calling for an immediate ceasefire, getting the parties around the negotiating table, and ultimately finding a two-state solution. I mean, in fact, I did uh, acknowledge and express my appreciation for the latest statement uh, issued by New Zealand, together with other partners, on um, the, the, the need to immediately uh, implement this ceasefire and find an amicable, peaceful resolution. Uh, my position Hamas has been made clear and it's good because then there's an opportunity to express uh, our position, why we take that position, because the atrocities happened from 1947-48 and uh, you can preclude that and erase that part of history. And, and, uh, but atrocities must end from any quarters that we share. This is our position. And um, 40,000 people killed by one party, and they are not uh, terrorists. There is also a problem uh, to then engage. But what is more important, and I agree fully with the Prime Minister, is that what is the solution now? What do we need to do now? It's to support all efforts to secure an immediate ceasefire. Absolutely.